Alright, hi boys and girls, I'm back. Okay, so are you ready with your answers? Okay, so I'm going to start off with question 5 of page 127 of your workbook. Okay, find the area of the figure. Now remember, because it's area, everybody, please do highlight, okay, the word area. You're no longer finding perimeter. So, find the area of the figure before you can even start. Okay, try to cut out. Okay, the try to find the squares and the rectangles from the area, from the composite figure. Alright, so in this case, uh, it has already been, the line has already been drawn for you. Alright, so it's the line that's that's going horizontal, uh, vertical, that means this way. Okay, you can also find this way. Alright, no problem. But then from the workbook, it's given as the line is going down as vertical lines. Okay. Right, so we how do you find it your unknown length? So I have my color paper here. Those of you who are faster, all right, who are better, and you can you can see better now, you can use your highlighter to highlight the all the vertical lines and horizontal lines, okay, like this. So if this is one line, this is 10, so this is another vertical line, all right. And where is another vertical line? There's another one here. Okay? Right, how about your horizontal line? You have one here, one here, and one here. Okay. Now, those of you who are still not very sure, it's okay. All right, let's do with the color paper. So, I know from this point to this point, that is 10 cm. 1.2, that point is 10. So, I move my paper to meet first vertical line and that's here and i know this is three now if this is three that means i will know what is this line here so the whole length is 10 so if this is three so this will be seven okay 10 take away three is seven so i know that unknown is seven so now let's do our horizontal line okay this whole horizontal line is from this end to this end that's a nine i push it down Okay, I meet one. Okay, there's already one here. So I draw my marking. So this is six. Okay, and I continue pushing it down. So my next line. Okay, so here I have nine, take away six. So this is three. Okay, so this unknown is a three. Is everybody okay? Right, so now, now you have to find out your area okay so before you do that you name the figure you can name it one two three or you can name it abc up to you okay so if you the other time i name it one two three so now i want to name it a b so all right area a area b okay let's find out what's area a area of a equals to remember formula length times breadth Okay, so my length is a 10. The breadth now we found out that's a 3. So it's the T. So we are done with first area of A. Now let's move on to area of B. Again, it's length times breadth. So my length is a 7 and my breadth is a 6. So that's 42. So your total area is, or you cannot equal, sorry. 30 plus 42, your answer is 72. So the area is 72 square centimeter. Full stop. Okay? Do you get the same answer? Good job. All right, now let's move on to the next part of the exercise. Question 6. You manage to do it on your own yeah okay good so now we just check our answer now before we do that we need to divide or find out which is the figure that makes up square or rectangle okay you can either divide it like that you want to do it this way just now we did it vertical right okay why not we do this um okay fine so we can do it this way all right, so I'll do my uh, cut up there. So that will be my figure A and my figure B. 
Okay. Right, so now let's find out what's figure A. Area of A, that's length times breadth. My length is 15 times the breadth. That means this tiny line here. Now, everybody take a look. Alright, I need to find out what's my tiny line, right? This whole length here, from here to here, is 13. Can you see that? That's 13. This whole length is 13. I push it in. Alright, that's one vertical line. That's 11. So, 13 minus 11 gives you? Yes. So, I know this is 2 because this part here is 11. So, this is 2. Okay? So that's 15 times 2, that's 30. Area of B, length times breadth. My length now is 11. Okay, my breadth here. Okay, let's take a look. How do you find that breadth there? Okay, this whole length from there to the side is 15. I push it down. Okay, that's my first marking right from here to here I know from here to here is a 10 so total length is 15 so 10 plus 5 so I know this is a 5 10 plus 5 is 15 so that's 5 so it's 11 times 5 and that's 55 so total area equals to 30 plus 55, that's 85. Okay, so the area is 85 square centimeter. Okay, everyone. Let's move on to the next question. Seven. Find the area of each figure. Again, you need to divide the figure. All right. Find where is the square or the rectangle. Okay. I want to divide it this way now. All right. So I have figure A and figure B. Okay. All right. So let's take a look at. Let's find the area of A. So that's area of A. Is equals to length times breadth. My length is 22 times 18. So you have to calculate that. Huh? You have to do your multiplication. So your answer is 396. Okay, now you find out what is area of B. Again, it's length times breadth. The length is 14. And the breadth is 9. So, 14 times 9. Again, do your own long multiplication. That's 126. So, total area, 396 plus 126. So, final answer is 522. So, area is 522 square centimeter okay all right let's move on to the last question on area of composite figure so now okay think of how you are going to divide this there's a few ways of doing this actually you can actually push this all the way up and form a rectangle can you see that okay let's do that really very simple all you need to do is do with the color paper again so you mark this is 21 right so that's 21 so all you need to do is all right you have this marking that's a 5 this one here is a 7 from here to here is a 7 so you have here to here is a 7 okay i show you again sorry so from here to here is 21. All right. So now here to here is a 5. 
here to here is 7 and you have this one here that's missing but remember you can push this all the way up you don't even need to find that if you push all the way up it gives you the same length that's 21 so it becomes a full length so imagine that you push this up okay so that's one and you have this so just find area of rectangle because this whole thing is a rectangle equals to length times breadth my length is 21 my breadth is 16 okay so 21 times 16 will give you 336 okay so that's your 21 also right so now remember when you find this that means it's the whole figure right it's the whole rectangle but they don't want this part here because this part here is not shaded they only ask you to find the area of the shaded part this part here is not shaded so what must you do you have to find this area right so that you can minus now you've already found out the whole rectangle that's 336 okay so how do you find this small area here all right this area here i call this uh figure uh figure a all right this small area here then you write down area of a is length times breadth so it's actually seven times five seven times five that's 35 so i don't want this unshaded part i only want the shaded so all i need to do is area of figure area of shaded figure i would say yeah huh? or oh, area of figure is equals to three three six minus your 35 okay remember i don't want this that's why i need to find this so i just find this area so 336 minus your 35 will give you 301 